My research is about the Nigerian film industry, which is also known as Nollywood. And I look at how Nollywood has interacted with the manufacturing industries in Nigeria to produce some really important economic impacts. So to give you a flavour of what that actually means, it's things like set workers, like carpenters, might take their skills from the sets and then apply it to making furniture for ordinary homes. What we have here is a bunch of Nollywood movies. This particular collection of videos is really the type of films that the industry grew up on. It's changing a bit now, so you get slightly more westernised content, but this is the, the real thing of Nollywood. Here we have a new genre. Um, this film's called Games Students Play, and this is a called a campus movie genre. It's become really popular in Nigeria in recent years and it's about uh, university campuses, sometimes about school campuses as well. And they tend to focus on the issue of prostitution amongst uh, students and this rather sinister juju element. Juju is something like voodoo. It could be translated as witchcraft, so the use of magic to usually hurt somebody the research was divided into two different types of methodologies. Uh, the first one was an ethnographic one, so that was the one that I did on studio filming in Lagos with the set workers. And that was where I, I was embedded in their company for six months um, with Mr Bedford, the owner, and alongside his workers whilst the other half of the research was uh, based on semi-structured interviews, primarily. That's where I was staying with Kenichuku Okafo in the village of Umuwaji, and he would take me around different places in Igbo land to meet the location managers, who are really the people who know everything about the houses, the hotels where the films are shot, and also he introduced me to the very important people, or as they call in Nigeria, the big men who own those locations. I think the things that, that had the biggest impact on me were when I was not actually trying to do research. So usually when you're doing research, you're very, very focused. You're trying to make use of every moment you're saying, I'm, what am I learning? Who am I talking to? What am I finding out? But then sometimes you take time off. You have a break. You maybe chat to people. And it was those moments when I actually had some really breakthrough experiences. One of them was when I started sleeping on site, on the uh, construction site where the set workers were. And I bathed there with them. I slept, I, all, all the daily functions of, of living. And people would just open up, even people I knew quite well by that, but having slept in the same place, they suddenly tell me things that I, they never answered in their interviews. If you look at traditional approaches to industrialization in Africa, they're really very production orientated. So that means that you're applying cheap labour to produce products for exports. Whilst what my work suggests is that we should be taking a more consumption orientated approach, which is all about incubating distinctive product styles in domestic markets and then later exporting. So it's a, um, I think, potentially a very significant change for industrialisation policy.